I couldn't think of a better classroom for my students of architecture. To be involved in projects of this type of scope uh, while you're a student can only enhance what you're going to be able to do in the future. Most of us enjoy getting out, you know, getting our hands dirty a little bit and, um, you know, not focusing on books all the time. So it's a good opportunity to get out and put some of the things we're learning to use. Two recent building projects, one two and a half years in the making, the other about two and a half weeks, gave Virginia Tech students two unique opportunities to design and build housing that might someday serve all of us and that would, right now, serve just one of us. So this house has been about two and a half years in the making from initial design to uh, completion. It was designed and built completely by students at the research and demonstration facility on campus. This house is a solar house. That would be Virginia Tech's entry in the 2005 Solar Decathlon, a U.S. Department of Energy competition among 19 colleges and universities to design, build, and operate a solar house. The house feels a lot larger than 570 square feet because there's glass which runs around the whole perimeter of the house, which gives you views to the outside. Also, there's uh, strategic fenestrations uh, east and west, which are the glass doors, and then there's double doors in the, on the south side, and there's a kitchen window which is 10 feet long, which actually allows you to see outside. So when you're in the space, you have a lot of natural light and daylighting, which helps you to, uh, with the high ceilings to feel like you're in a much larger space, because when you can see out, it feels like the space extends beyond the limits of the 570 square feet. The design obviously impressed the judges at the competition on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., the house won the architecture and dwelling categories, and it won the attention of public television's This Old House crew. For the appliances, or it can go to the batteries, and it also can go backwards to the grid to be exchanged for future use. I'm so proud of them. Uh, they they uh, have produced a fine piece of architecture. In fact, there's rumors going around from the, in the village, the solar village, that, uh, oh, Virginia Tech, they, they, had, they hired professionals to build their house. Well, I think we've, we've generated about 15 professionals. I'm very impressed with what they've accomplished here. It's uh, very appealing architecturally. And I think it is a reflection of the caliber of both the architectural and engineering programs at Virginia Tech and Virginia Tech's reputation for hands-on design and build would receive more national attention just weeks later as ABC's Extreme Makeover program came to Blacksburg. But the ceremony and celebration did not distract from the task at hand to tear down a house that Carol Crawford Smith just could not use with her multiple sclerosis and build a new home she could. And it would be done in a week. One night we sat down, spent uh, probably six hours uh, just shredding and designing a house for a real world application, but based on a lot of the research and systems that we developed in the Solar Decathlon Project. In addition to building a new house, tech students designed and rebuilt Carol's dance studio, also in a week. It's a challenge, I love a challenge. Uh, exams don't start till next week, so let's go. Actually, we probably have had a, at least 50 different students involved, and by the time we're finished, we'll probably have a total of 100 students who will have spent some of their time uh, to do this. And it would take her 20 minutes to come up the stairs. So now we're putting all new handicap access in. Uh, all the doors are gonna be handicap access ramps so she can go anywhere in the studio, and there's gonna be a lift to bring her up the stairs so she will now be able to come in and out of her studio as she pleases without any restrictions. So once again, she gets back her life. Back at the house, tech students took a special interest in the design and construction of a special room for Carol, one with its inspiration in another recent project. So some of the work we have done on the Solar Decathlon competition was transposed over into the design of the meditation room. And that technology, particularly the colored walls, um, gave us a chance to design a room that Carol could call her own, 
and where she could go and meditate or do just to be by herself and reflect on uh, the day's activities. Anybody needs quiet time, but when you're a single mother and you run a business, and then on top of that you're going through a physical challenge, you need time to be as stress-free as possible and that space, the meditation room, allows for a stress-free moment for existence. I have so much gratitude to everyone who has participated in this makeover. I am especially grateful to the students at Virginia Tech. I think everyone got a little teary-eyed. Uh, when you can affect someone like that, you know, that powerfully, uh, it, it really drives home the, you know, the importance of uh, what you're doing. So it's, uh, I think it really reinforces uh, why I'm going to school and, and studying what I am. I've been involved with uh, community service um, pretty much my whole life, so to come out and to do something like this on such a big scale and be a part of you know, so many people giving so much to uh, somebody that really deserves it means a lot to me. I am very aware of how excited the students were about participating in any way that they could in the makeover. Not only students through the um, College of Architecture and Urban Studies, but students campus-wide who wanted to be involved in this project. And I'm very grateful, uh, beyond words can express, my sons and I are truly thankful.